happy Makes me wanna watch Something filled with fun and lots of song Alexandra talks Alexandra talks Hi, I'm Alexandra Rooney, and welcome back to Alexandra Talks. I'm your host, Alexandra Rooney, and today we will be doing lots of fun things. Make sure to also go check out My Girl on February 27th at 2 o'clock, and you can see it on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure to go check that out. Now, we will be doing our quote of the day. Also, make sure to send in some quotes that I could do. So yeah, now let's do our quote of the day. Today's quote of the day is be the change you wish to see in the world. I chose this quote because I feel like it's important because it means like if you do something kind to someone, then there's good karma. So you'll probably get something good back and they'll probably be kind back. So you could be kind of like influence what people do by kind of what you want the world to be like kind of being kind. So yeah, well, there's different meanings of it. But yeah, now I will be singing This Is Me from Camp Rock. Okay, so because of um, guidelines, I can't use music. So yeah, I'm also going to try to try to do the sitting because um, the camera angle will be like angled up and it will be under my chin because yeah. So, here we go. I've always been the kind of girl that hid my face. So afraid to tell the world what I've got to say. But I have this dream right inside of me. I'm going to let it show. It's time to let you know. To let you know. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I found who I am. There's no way to hold it in. No more hiding who I want to be. This is me. This is real. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me now i found who i am there's no way to hold it in no more hiding who i want to be this is me so yeah now we will be doing some tiktok tutorials okay so today um we're gonna do the same routine where i go I teach it to you, then we do it slow, then we do it medium, then we do it fast. So today, this dance I doesn't have a certain name in it, but the song has 4th of July in it. So it goes like, you let me up inside like the 4th of July, because that's like a little part in it. So I'll try to sing along with it, but like some parts I might not know, so I might play the wrong line. So first, what you want to do is you want to go like kind of like swoop. And then swoop the other way. So like, so that'd be, you let me up inside. And then like, you're kind of like cradling a baby. Like the 4th of July. And you want to like roll your hands like this. I'm not good at it, but like, you can kind of just go like that. It's like kind of like an illusion a little bit. Because I can't do it like the fully right way, but like, that's kind of like the way they do it. I don't, I don't know. But it goes like, you let me up inside like the 4th of July whenever you're and then you want to go around so like your dice rolling I'm pretty sure so like the 4th of July whenever you're around yeah then you push away and you come back and smile so that's pretty much that here um show an example I'm just gonna show no music because um yeah YouTube guidelines but here it is. Um, I'm going to pull it up quickly. Okay. 
here it is. So it goes so like that. And I always seem to smile. So yeah, that was just like a little example. In case I'm doing it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right. So it goes, you light me. So now we're gonna do it slow, then medium, then fast. You light me up inside like the 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. Also, since I showed a video, credit to Samantha Luzi. Came up first when I typed it. Um, so now here is it medium. Light me up inside like the 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. And here I am. You let me. Now it's fast. <laughs> I can't do it that fast, but I'll try. You light me up inside like the 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. So we'll do that one more time. You light me up inside like the 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always seem to smile. So yeah, that's the TikTok dance today. Now we will be interviewing Prentice Miles from the Face to Face Films production of My Girl, and he is playing Danny. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me. No problem. I'm just going to be asking you a couple questions. So, oh, cool. first question is My Girl is your first production with Face to Face Films. How does it feel to be? a part of face-to-face -face as an ensemble member and create a partner? Well, I just can only say it's so exciting to be a part of just a, a really talented group of actors. Um, it's kind of nerve-wracking sometimes for yeah. me. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's just like I'm being thrown into a pool and everyone is so good. Everyone is so talented. Um, so really, I'm just trying to find my place uh, and where I fit into everything but it's 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 really like co collaborative and and everyone is so nice it's just it's heartwarming it's starting to feel like home yeah we're all kind of like a family it's really yeah cool. um <laughs> what is your role as a creative partner what will you be working on okay so my role as a creative partner is um we're going i'm working on the merchandise part of face-to-face -face films um, we are uh, working on currently working on our website that we are bringing to you soon as part of uh, the shop part of our website. We have a website already, but we're bringing our web, uh, bringing our merchandise up to sell. We are going to be selling T-shirts. We will be selling face masks coming soon, um, and much more to come. Much more to come. That sounds really cool. Like T-shirts, yeah. masks, and all that's so cool. I would definitely buy yeah. It. If, if, if it's going to be so much coming, everybody look forward to it face to face. <laughs> Where are you from and did you move to become an actor? What do you think of NYC when you moved there? Oh, okay. So I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Huh? Um, I, I did move here to become an actor. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Um, I moved at like, I think 19 and just coming here was just like, everything was just so magical and felt so empowering and everything is very fast paced, but I'm myself is, I'm fast paced and just, I don't know. It just brings out so much inside of you. It's New York to me, is just really magical. I love being here. Um, Georgia is great, but New York is just, I don't know, it's just really empowering. Yeah, New York is just so much, like, so fun to go because there's, like, a lot of, like, places you could go to, and it's, like, cool to see, like, all the people there. And mm -hmm. yeah. It's a very interesting place. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> um, what is the hardest role you have played and why? Um, okay, the hardest role that I have played would be in college, um, in Titus Andronicus. Um, I played 
Alarbis and I was the ghost of Aaron the Moor. So it was it was kind of I was circling and and haunting, but not like spooky haunting, but guiding haunting and helping Aaron along the way. Um, Shakespeare for me is has always been difficult. <laughs> um, so just working on that piece and, and finding the text and the the language and the rhythm and the flow of Shakespeare is just, it's, it's a lot to do with. So, and you know, it, it was interesting exploring like something like as a bad guy, you know, mm -hmm. the villain. That was very interesting for me to explore, but that, yeah, Titus Andronicus was by far the most difficult play I worked on. <laughs> yeah, I know like Shakespeare, I remember I like looked at like one of like the monologues and I like the wording is just kind of confusing. <laughs> like always difficult to do. Yeah. It's I just. Think... Oh, sorry. You keep going. No, it's just so confusing. That's all I was going to say. Yeah. I believe I didn't ask you this question yet. So how long have you been acting and how did you get started? Did I say that? No. Um, okay, so I started acting in high school, actually. I, I grew up in Savannah, Georgia, and there, there was not like a, a theater program inside of the high school or schools that I went to, um, which I would love to someday do to bring more arts to more communities, but um I start I, I when I moved to Atlanta was where I joined a, a acting class, not an acting class, but like drama drama class. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like drama club <laughs> really. Um, but then the teacher was like, you know, the school happened to be a fine arts school, which is really fun. So you could join the 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 Art, you could join dance, band, chorus, or acting. And I auditioned and then I got in and then I fell in love with acting and I was like, I want to just do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> so uh, that has been uh, seven, eight years, not, not long. Yeah, that's, that's pretty long though. For me, I think <laughs> that's like a decent amount of time. Acting is just so much fun. I feel like you get to like yeah. express your emotions and like sometimes you get to like go different places to do it. And like it's kind of like your happy place. Yeah, but, I, but the thing was like I was saying that it was not that long is because mm -hmm. there's this quote that I read somewhere and I can't remember who it's from, but it's there's this thing that it says takes 20 years to make a good actor. Mm -hmm. So that that is that is the only reason of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I read that you have a clothing line. Can you tell us about it? Okay. Um, okay. So my clothing line is called Prince Merch. Um, I've just started. I first started off as as kind of like it wasn't a it was not a joke in itself, but the 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 message behind it is such an oxymoron. Um, on my shirt it says I hate it here, but it's an oxymoron of of dealing with um, your depression or your anxiety to just you. You claim it that 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 is who you are. You don't try to hide it. I want to ju the the goal is to bring more awareness to depression and or anxiety that people that you know these people are, are normal as well. Like you know, and it's okay that you have it, own it, and it's fine. You are not alone. It's 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 a lot of working title things. Um, I have a new I have new um, designs coming out in a couple of months. Uh, I would <clears throat> wish I could get a sneak peek, but I can't. But it's more to come. Um, trying to bring more awareness to depression and anxiety. 
That's a great message to make clothing. I feel like it's really important to show such a like strong message. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I'll make sure to stay tuned on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the original shirt currently right now it has a um a SpongeBob reference. <laughs> um oh. when he was in cor he was in quarantine and he was talking to Penny and Chip and the napkin. Oh yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> that's that's what that's what's the uh the, the funny part about the shirt. That's the reference. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that episode. I love SpongeBob I <laughs> all the time. What are some of your hobbies when you are not acting? Have you ever tried any new hobbies during the pandemic? Um, well, my hobbies currently right now are <laughs> I play video games or I watch a movie or I've been trying to start reading more because reading is really important. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've not done a lot of that. I try to go to the gym, social distancing. Um, before I, before the pandemic, I did a lot of photography, which I have just stopped doing. Um, and that's pretty much it that other than acting, um, oh, I've done some directing um and working on my clothing line that's pretty much it <laughs> you said that like you started reading is there like do you have like any favorite books or no well i'm start i was reading rereading um uda hagen's book of acting and i was reading a couple of scripts uh, um trying to reread all of august wilson's work mm -hmm. um um, I'm currently reading Two Trains Running by August Wilson. And that's, yeah, that, that that's pretty much all I've been reading. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, do you had, oh, you could keep going. I was going to say, do you have anything that you're currently reading? Oh, <laughs> um, well, technically not. Like, I got to catch up on my reading. But, um, in class, we're reading A Wrinkle in Time, which is, um, <laughs> I am like trying to like reread it cause like I'm trying to get like, so like in class we're like now we're at like chapter five. So I keep going back cause like sometimes like they use like big words and I'm not great with like big words, especially <laughs> saying them. So I like go back and like read them through and I'm just, yeah, it's good. It's, I like it so far. I feel like it's a good book. Yeah, I I have a hard time with big words as well. <laughs> so I understand. They're so, like, they're confusing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, favorite place you have traveled? I haven't done a lot of traveling. Um, uh, so... I guess my favorite place that I have Washington, I have to say Washington DC. Um the experience there of um getting to see the the that this is when Obama was president. Um I was in middle school and it was a class trip um with um a couple of just a couple of classmates. That was that was really fun to like explore. It, we went on a boat, a boat ride, dinner. It was really fun, and I don't know the it, the culture felt different. And I like again, I grew up in Savannah, so going there was so much different and alive. Other than New York, but I live here now, so I didn't know if that counted. <laughs> yeah, actually, art. Eighth graders field trip in middle school is actually going to Washington DC. Yeah. My brother, my oldest brother, because I have two brothers, got to go there. Um, and my brother is actually one of my brothers is now in eighth grade and he didn't get to do it due to COVID, which is kind of sucks because it was 
So just a, such a fun opportunity. And I'm hoping I'll get to do it because it sounds really fun. I hope so. You, I hope so that you do because it's it's really fun. It's probably on top, top tier places. <laughs> top tier places. <laughs> Favorite quote. It's a hard one. Like I don't That that is such a hard one. Every time someone always asks me a question about something, I always think about the most recent things rather than my most favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um so Wow, honestly, I, I can't think of any. <laughs> yeah, they're like hard. Like I've <laughs> So like what I just do is I like search up inspirational quotes and then I like look through them and I'm like, oh hey, I like that one. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do them <laughs> for each of my shows and I'm like, anyone have any suggestions to do? Cause I need some because I'm not great with funding quotes. Yeah, and, and then you're like strolling online and then like, okay, yeah. this one and this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> question, because like I don't have like a certain one. I like pretty much any quote. Um, something you hope to do in 2021. Something I hope to do in 2021 is, which I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but you can only hope. Yeah. By the end of 2021, I would love to hope to act on stage again. Mm. That, that would be amazing. Just... I don't know. The theater is different. The theater is different. Yeah, it's more, I feel like it's more fun to be in person, like, when, like, you're doing a scene, like, that you're by next to the person, so then you can actually, like, feel a connection instead of, like, through a screen. Yeah, yeah. And, and the audience gives so much energy as well. <laughs> yeah. I love, like, how, like, they're always, like, they just, yeah, it's just really fun. It's, like, a happy place too like I love happy places <laughs> but you know it's like nice to have a connection with the person in your scene and it's nice to be back up there especially um Broadway shows opening and like other plays opening is always good <laughs> so yeah that's all my questions for today um thank you so much for coming bye I really so appreciate it Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs> okay. So sadly, it's that time of the day where the show is almost over. So make sure to go check out My Girl on February 27th at 2 o'clock. And it's on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure to go check that out. And um, make sure to come back next week when I interview another person for my girl. So yeah, make sure to go check that out because I will also be doing lots of fun things. Also, submit some quotes maybe or like tell me anything like something about your like favorite show to binge watch. Ask me anything, tell me anything and I will do it. So yeah, bye glitters. Subscribe. What makes me happy? Makes me wanna watch. Something filled with fun and lots of song. Alexandra talks. Alexandra talks. Alexandra talks.